This is a speech written by Robert Coleman, and the title of it is, What Would Martin Say? Absolutely. So I affectionately call it, you know, What Would Martin Say? That's what I call it. So here it is here. Just take a look at what you're doing to yourselves. For a long time now I have sat and I have watched Ask myself, how long would it be before my people realize the dangers of their way? I can't help but ask myself, was it all in vain? Many days I stood out in a hot blazing sun, stood there and stared into the face of people. I was spat on and called out my name again and again, threatened that I would be king. Didn't matter to me. I still stood in there and I was told that there was no place for me and that I should go back to Africa, but I, I stood my ground. I was told that my little children would be murdered again as they slept. I didn't stop my ways and sound of my tongue, but I stood right there. Now, in this year, as we, we are about to enter the new living. Look at your actions and I can't help but ask myself, and if, if it was all in vain, I ask myself what makes a black man turn against another black man all over color. See, it doesn't matter what, what color a black man is wearing. The fact that he is a black man is reason enough not to have his life taken at the hands of another black man. I sit and I watch, and it brings tears to my eyes to see the constant killing of our people at the hands of one another. Why have you young people of today chosen to forget the struggle in Mississippi that we went through just because I refused to allow any man to take from me what this country was built on? Freedom. Freedom, I tell you. You write about me and what I stood for. I hear your words. Makes me feel proud, but then I look at the actions of your ways. It makes me drop to my, it makes me drop my head in shame. Wake up, oh my people, wake up! Now is the time to stand up and say, this is not what Martin Luther King meant when he said we shall overcome. I didn't mean for you to stand on every corner selling drugs to one another doing harm and bringing death to your own race. I didn't mean for you to kill one another because you say they belong to the wrong set. It was hatred of a man that killed my flesh. Now, with your actions, young people, you're killing my liberty. It's time for you to stop and pick up the baton. The race is not over. It's time for you to show that, show the world that Martin Luther King is more than just a liberty. You have to show the world that Martin Luther King is a way of life. And it's time to show the world that now we, we will carry the torch of freedom. It is time to show the world that now we will carry the torch of righteousness. It is time to show the world that Martin Luther King still lives in us all. Tell your children, your children's children, that Martin Luther King is more than a man, he was a way of life. We must all talk. We must all We must all keep the dream alive. We must not let the dream be turned into a nightmare. What would Martin say?